Great question, Patty. Watch this video. Or make sure you watch it to the end. What I'm about to tell you about, about vitamin B12 may blow your mind. My name is Gary Brecka. I'm a human biologist and researcher, and I'm here to talk about vitamin B12, which is one of the most important compounds in the human body. Remember, B12 is a metal. We call it the cobalt metal. Now, when we put this metal into the human body, which is very necessary, we call it cobalamin. But there's three types of this cobalamin molecule that occur naturally in nature. One of them we make synthetically on our own. Believe it or not, we make this vitamin out of hydrogen cyanide and the cobalt metal. And we put this into vitamins that you are likely taking right now. Some of you are actually taking vitamins that are not only hurting your DNA and stealing vital nutrients from your cells, but they are robbing your body of vital oxygen and other light metals that are necessary for human function. I want you to look for this on the back of your vitamin labels, and if it is on the back of your vitamins, I want you to throw those vitamins in the trash. It's called, it's the only form of B12 that is not occurring naturally in nature. It is called cyano, cyano cobalamin. Cyano cobalamin. <laughs> I'm sort of running out of room there. Cyano is short for cyanide. Don't believe me? A lot of people don't. So I'm taking you to the U.S. government's website at the National Library of Medicine at the National Institute of Health. You can go to this website yourself by typing in cyanocobalamin space pubchem, and you will go right to this, this area of the site. And what you're going to see when we go here is you're going to see the vitamin cyanocobalamin. This is the only form of synthetic B12 in the world, and it's the most common form of B12. So if I want to say, well, what is cyanocobalamin made out of? I can scroll down here to section 5.3, and this is where I'll learn what this chemical compound is derived from. So I scroll to section 5.3, and I see that cyanocobalamin, here it is, is made up of these three things, the cobalt metal, which all B12 is made up of, and then it's also made of something called hydrogen cyanide. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Flammable, acute toxic environmental hazards. So wait a second, I thought you just said that was a vitamin. It's also in our children's vitamins. It's also in Centrum vitamins. It's in the majority of mass manufactured multivitamins. It's in cereals. It's in all kinds of workout supplements. And this is a hydrogen cyanide derived form of B12. After the B12, the cobalt metals delivered to your cell you've got a floating cyanide molecule inside your cytoplasm. What does that cyanide molecule do? It's a thief. It starts to grab oxygen and other light metals and rob the cell of vital nutrients. Imagine that you invited two guests over to your house. One was methylcobalamin, a natural form of B12, and another one was cyanocobalamin, the synthetic form of B12. Well, they both show up at your house and they both give you a gift. Only on the way out, methylcobalamin takes out your trash. It actually lowers inflammation and leaves the cell by taking the trash out and actually giving you a benefit. Cyanocobalamin shows up and gives you a gift and on the way out, steals your watches and your jewelry and robs you of the cash in your safe and steals all your silverware and then throws it in the trunk of your car and leaves with your car. It's a thief. It's a thief in the night. You invite it into the cell and when it leaves, it takes vital nutrients that you need to perform optimally. I wonder what else they can use cyanocobalamin in besides children's vitamins. Well, one of the things that we use it in, because hydrogen cyanide is a highly toxic, highly toxic conjugate acid of cyanide um, that is used as a chemical weapon agent. That's right. We use it in chemical weapons and children's vitamins at the same time. 